Yo, what's going on, everybody? TK Gaming, and I'm back here the brand new Madden 17 Draft Champions gameplay. As you guys can see, our team we got Adrian Peterson. Um, we also got Luke Keekley and Cham Bailey as our number one quarterback. We also got Drew Brees under center. And if he continues throwing DOS like this, we'll come out of this game with the victory as he's hitting Doug Baldwin. A nice throw. And what a catch by Doug Baldwin on that one to pick us up some great yards and put us in field position right there. But Drew Brees gets taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Brings up a second down along multiple time in the pocket for Drew Brees. But he forces one in Adrian Peterson. And Peterson gets annihilated right right there and then drew Brees hits the ground yet again for another sack and that brings up a fourth down along taking our points but we do not even come near hitting the goal post right there so a long drive literally comes up with nothing on that one so that play that drive really didn't even matter right here alex smith gets taken down by nada and nada gets his first sack of the game so that brings up a third down and 14 alex smith trying to go over the middle brown but with that swap button this year that's not working at all. And then he goes for it, and he tries to do a screenplay with Matt Forte, but that goes nowhere. Actually loses some yards on fourth down. And look at AP. Puts down the shoulder and just runs through the defender right there. Brings up another first down and 10. Adrian Peterson running to the left-hand side. Trying to bounce out a running attack and a passing attack. And it's been working so far right there. We're going over to a drag route. Sammy Watkins trying to pick up the first down. Does spin out of bounds. So you have to go for it on fourth and to a risky play. Could have taken our field goal. And Adrian Peterson is just inches short of getting us the first down as he's going over to Matt Forte. Cost him right there as Matt Forte fumbles the football and not is there to pick up the fumble recovery. Seems like not has been everywhere in this game. And Drew Brees has been hitting the ground every play. Most likely most likely he has. Um, because that's like multiple times Drew Brees is hitting the ground. And it looks like Drew Brees was throwing nowhere right there. But Sammy Watkins comes out of nowhere with a nice catch. And then A. Adrian Peterson gets us on the board for our first touchdown of the game as we do miss our PAT attempt. So now we need to stop him because he's got some time to play with. Uh, just approaching the two-minute warning as right there. He's hitting Crabtree. Just approaching the two-minute warning. Don't want to let him have a good drive and go into halftime with the lead. As right there, he's trying to hit Matt Forte. Knock the ball up. Brings up a second down and 10. Going out to the flats. Hitting, um, it seems like Cook right there. Hits uh, his tight end Cook and that brings up a first down trying to go over to brown in the slant route nothing can happen there brings up a second down and 10 smith goes back to the slant row basically and it gets the first down a big reception right there um a couple more plays and he could be in field goal range as that's what he's trying to do brown over the middle third and inches math forte you know he's reliable when it comes to situations like this picks up the first down and brown is back with another reception diving on that one he could have actually went in the end zone. i don't know what he was thinking right there there's Smith going out to Matt Forte, and Forte is getting his team on the board for their first touchdown of the game. Since I missed my PET attempt, now they're leading uh, by one point. So, definitely should have hit that uh, PAT attempt. Field goals are much harder in this game. So, now it is after halftime. So, now he gets the ball. We do not want to go down by a touchdown right there. Handing it off to Matt Forte. Brings up a second down and 10. Alex Smith going deep. But Champ Bailey and Camp Chancellor are all over that one. Brings up a third down and 10. A huge stop right here. Come Put us on the lead as right there, Jared Cook goes out of bounds. Another time, he goes for it on fourth down, trying to hit Matt Forte on the screenplay, basically. But he cannot get his hands on that one. So we get the ball back in great field position. So I don't know why he's going for it on fourth and fourth down. Basically, he's just kind of ruining his chance on winning this game. As right here, we're going to this Sammy Watkins, my favorite receiver so far, because he's got that speed on them. Drag routes and right over hitting our tight end. And he's going to pick us up the first down, brings up a first down. And 10 squeeze and one in right there. But we're getting our touchdown and we're going for a two point conversion. And that's what we're going to get as we go up uh, by a touchdown now since we went for the two point conversion. Matt Forte coming out of the backfield, making things happen. And he picks up the first down. One of the best uh, receiving running backs in the game. And right here, my users were off. And Alex Smith gets a huge reception. And now they're moving down the field. Right here, Cook gets. Taken up by Cam Chancellor. The boom of Cam Chancellor. Denilates him. And look at that. Almost a pick by Cam Chancellor. Almost deflected that one too. It's right. He's going out to the screenplay. Matt Forte trying to make something happen. He really liked going out to the screenplays to Matt Forte. Didn't always work. But he 
Matt Fortier is having a heck of a game so far. Right there, he tries to get something to happen. Gets his field goal right there. So now we are still leading with fourth. Uh, with the fourth quarter just approaching. Um, like three minutes left in this game. Drew Brees going down the field. Man, that could have been a risky play. So that brings up a third down and 12. Multiple options down the field. Trying to make something happen. But now we are punting the football. Um, and now he's got the ball. And he's got time to win the game. He's got the chance to win the game. Right here on second and five. Going over the middle. That ball is taken out after that huge collision. Brings up a third down and five. Alex Smith going out to a drag route. And Matt Forte, the man that's been doing it all for this Raiders team, comes up with another reception. Brings up a first down and ten. He's got Brown over the middle. That seems like he's got 20 catches on the game. Ryder Alex Smith trying to get out of the pocket. He does fumble the football. But we get the ball back. So his chances of winning the game are just slim. So if we can get a first down here use all his timeouts the game could be in our hands and we could have another win here in draft champions as adrian peterson is one yard short of picking up the first down goal for it on fourth down and drew Brees gets the qb sneak running adrian peterson running it up his gut he goes for five yards on that one brings up another third down need to get it adrian peterson gets it and more on the screenplay first and 10 handed it off to ap ap got some space in front of him trying to break off one man and that's what he does as ap we're not gonna go right in the end zone immediately we're trying to use one more of his timeouts and use some clock look at the tip drill right here as we're anyway we're getting the touchdown so if you guys do want to see more madden 17 draft champions gameplay make sure that like button comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time peace